This is the 58mm f1.4G from Nikon. Hi, this is PM from Extraordinary Imaging, and today I just want to have a chat about this lens and why it's such a good lens for astrophotography. The 58mm focal length is not one that you might have used that much for astrophotography. It only comes with a 41 degree diagonal field of view, so you're not going to capture that much of the night sky in a single frame. You probably want to do panoramas to capture a decent field of view. It's a very strange focal length. You don't see that many 58mm lenses on the market. And that's because this lens harps back to the original f1.2 58mm Noct that was released in the 1970s by Nikon. And that lens was designed to be a night lens. That's why it's called a Noct, short for nocturnal. So the lens has very well uh, controlled corners in terms of coma performance and renders lights in the corners of the frame as pinpoints of lights rather than flying saucer shaped discs of lights that you get in some inferior lenses. A bit about the lens itself, it has nine elements in six groups. It weighs 385 grams. It comes with a 72 millimeter front filter thread, uh, two aspherical elements and a nano crystal coated element as well. It comes with a rear a metal mount and a rear gasket to prevent some dust from getting in. The front element is recessed deeply in uh, the lens and so the lens acts as a lens hood uh, by itself. So you don't really have to use a lens hood with this lens. Anyway, about the performance of this lens, this is not a sharp lens by any means. So the 51.4G and the 51.8G from Nikon are significantly sharper than this lens wide open. But what this lens can do, that those two can't do, is produce a high contrast, highly saturated image wide open. Uh, and has very well controlled corners in terms of the coma performance and has very low vignetting as well. So let's take a look at some of the images that I've taken with this lens before. This is a 104 image panorama of the Milky Way captured at the Pinnacles Desert in Nambang National Park, Western Australia. Short settings were 10 seconds per frame, ISO 3200 and wide open at f1.4. The entire panorama stitched without an issue. I put it down to the good vignetting performance of the lens. Wide open, the corners aren't really that dark. And the coma performance is really good as well, so it relieves a lot of stress on the stitch software. Zooming in, we can see that the performance is highly usable at f1.4. And the stars look sharp to my eyes, and I do like the colors as well. And this is a center frame of the panorama, and if we zoom in on the corners, we can see how good the corner performance really is compared to something like the 35mm 1.4 art. So overall this lens is an amazing performer for astrophotography. It's a truly unexpected lens that performs well for this category. It's definitely my lens of choice if I'm doing ultra high resolution panoramas of the night sky. It has great contrast and saturation and really good vignetting and coma performance. And that's everything that I need in the lens for astrophotography.